the recent escalation of conflict in the Middle East is marked by its spreading to new areas, exemplified by an attack on a U.S. military base in Jordan. This incident, occurring in the context of the ongoing war in Gaza, has initiated a series of retaliatory actions. The consequences of these developments for the region remain uncertain, highlighting a concerning trend of increasing instability beyond established conflict zones. In response to escalating tensions, Washington carried out bombings on pro-Iranian militia targets in Syria and Iraq. This action heightens the possibility of direct conflict with Tehran, signaling a significant escalation in regional tensions and the risk of broader confrontations. In the context of rising tensions due to the war in Gaza, both involved parties have so far calibrated their responses to prevent further escalation. However, the situation remains volatile, with concerns about the conflict potentially spreading to Lebanon and the possible involvement of the United States in a broader regional conflict. DW offers in-depth analysis on these developments, exploring the intricate dynamics and potential outcomes of the current situation. Since the onset of the war in Gaza, the United States has faced escalating pressure across the Middle East, primarily due to its support for Israel. This stance has sparked widespread disapproval among Arab populations and has led to U.S. forces becoming targets for Iran-backed armed groups. Incidents involving attacks on U.S. bases in the region have surged in response to the commencement of Israeli military operations, indicating a significant uptick in hostilities and targeted actions against U.S. interests. By the end of January, a total of 165 attacks, primarily in Syria and Iraq, were documented marking a significant increase in hostilities. This escalation of aggression culminated in the tragic loss of three American soldiers on January 28, highlighting the dire consequences of the ongoing tensions in the region. A military base in Jordan, known as Tower 22 and situated at the strategic tri-border area between Jordan, Syria, and Iraq, was targeted in an attack involving a drone laden with explosives. This incident underscores the rising tensions and the increasing use of unmanned aerial vehicles in conflicts within the region. The attack on a military base in Jordan was claimed by the Islamic Resistance in Iraq Organization, an umbrella group for several pro-Iranian militias. Washington's retaliation was prompt and decisive. Within five days, on February 2, the United States executed airstrikes on approximately a hundred targets across Syria and Iraq, marking a significant escalation in the response to the attack and the ongoing tensions in the region. Following the United States airstrikes on targets in Syria and Iraq, authorities in both countries reported that the death toll reached into the tens, with civilians among the casualties. In response to the escalating situation and the resulting loss of life, the United Nations Security Council convened an urgent meeting at the request of Russia to deliberate on the circumstances and potential ramifications of the attacks. At a United Nations Security Council meeting, the Russian ambassador to the UN accused Washington of contributing to the escalating instability in the Middle East. China supported these criticisms, further accusing the United States of violating the territorial integrity of Syria and Iraq. These developments underscore the international tensions and the complex geopolitical dynamics surrounding the U.S. military actions in the region. In response to criticisms at the United Nations Security Council meeting, the U.S. representative invoked the right of self-defense as justification for the bombings in Syria and Iraq. Despite Washington's rationale, these actions are seen as a pivotal moment that could adversely affect the United States' standing in the Middle East particularly in its relationship with the Iraqi government. This situation illustrates the complex and fraught nature of international relations in the region. The military spokesperson for the Iraqi prime minister, in a statement published on the X platform, strongly criticized the international military coalition led by the United States. He argued that the coalition's actions have become a source of instability for Iraq. This condemnation reflects growing tensions between Iraq and the United States, underscoring the complex dynamics of international military involvement in the region. The Biden administration has actively defended the presence of U.S. troops in Iraq amid growing criticisms. Following a withdrawal in 2011, American forces returned to Iraq in 2014 as leaders of an international coalition aimed at combating the Islamic State, IS. 
by that time, IS had significantly expanded its control in both Iraq and Syria, declaring a caliphate that spanned over 90,000 square kilometers across the two nations. This context highlights the U.S.'s role in the ongoing efforts to address the challenges posed by IS in the region. After three years of intense conflict, the territorial grip of the Islamic State was significantly diminished, confined to small pockets in eastern Syria. In a decisive moment of the conflict, the Iraqi government officially declared the end of the war against the terrorist organization in December 2017, marking a pivotal point in the region's ongoing struggle against IS and its control. Over six years have elapsed since the Iraqi government declared the end of the war against the Islamic State, yet the international coalition, led by the United States, continues its presence in Iraq. Washington still has troops stationed in the country, indicating the ongoing commitment of the United States to the region despite the significant reduction in IS-controlled territory. This sustained military presence underscores the complex nature of the international mission in Iraq and the challenges of ensuring stability and security. The Iraqi government has initiated renewed dialogue with Washington, aiming to expedite the withdrawal of American troops from Iraq. This move comes as public disapproval of bombings escalates, placing significant pressure on Baghdad and positioning the Biden administration in a challenging predicament. The situation highlights the growing tensions and the complex dynamics of the U.S. military presence in Iraq, reflecting both internal and external Through pressures which it has for steadily change. expanded its influence. Tehran emerges as a pivotal but covert actor in the ongoing tensions, primarily due to its connections with militias that have targeted U.S. bases. Iran supports the so-called Axis of Resistance, a coalition of groups through which it has steadily expanded its influence in the Middle East. This strategy underscores Iran's role in regional dynamics, positioning it as a key player in the complex web of relationships and conflicts that affect stability and power balances in the area. It is estimated that Shiite militias aligned with Iran number around 70,000 members in Iraq and an additional 20,000 in Syria. Beyond these figures, Tehran extends its support to several other groups in the region, including the Hezbollah in Lebanon, various Palestinian militias, and the Houthi rebels in Yemen. This network of affiliations and support underscores Iran's significant influence across the Middle East, highlighting its role in shaping the region's geopolitical landscape through its backing of allied militias and groups. The standoff between the United States and Iran is intensifying with both nations currently engaged in a carefully measured exchange of military actions. This tactical approach has so far contained the escalation to a series of precise strikes, indicating a deliberate effort by both sides to manage the intensity of their confrontations. This strategy suggests a cautious navigation of tensions, with both countries aware of the potential for broader conflict. The United States is carefully calibrating its military actions in the Middle East, balancing a complex set of considerations on the other, overly aggressive on military hand, interventions in Iraq action could strain its relationship Yemen, with Israel or elsewhere and undermine its position in the region and negatively impact bilateral relations with countries in the region. This delicate balancing act highlights the intricate geopolitical calculations the U.S. must navigate to maintain its strategic interests and alliances in the Middle East. In addition to military measures, Washington is engaging in a rhetorical show of strength. In a letter to Congress reporting on the bombings, President Biden stated that future attacks could target personnel and facilities associated with the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. This statement underscores the Biden administration's readiness to escalate its military response if necessary, signaling a broader range of potential targets in the ongoing tension with Iran. Despite the rhetorical escalations, both Iran and the United States are making efforts to avoid direct conflict. However, the intensification of regional tensions heightens the risk of a large-scale war. The situation is increasingly precarious, placing the involved parties on the brink of a significant conflict. This delicate balance reflects the complex interplay of strategic interests and the potential for escalation in a highly volatile region. The current state of conflict in the region is marked by a lack of escalation and de-escalation phases, with it instead becoming regionalized. The future of peace negotiations remains uncertain. Despite this uncertainty, Israel is resolved to press forward, and the Houthis are expected to persist in their attacks. 
this situation underscores a continued commitment to their respective causes, suggesting that the path to peace may be challenging and the potential for ongoing conflict remains high. Militias in Iraq and Syria are expected to persist in their attacks, prompting continued responses from Western allies. The extent of this cycle of aggression and retaliation remains to be seen. Additionally, the potential for the war in Gaza to expand to other neighboring countries is becoming a more imminent threat. With tensions escalating between Israel and pro-Iranian militias, the region faces an increasingly volatile situation, signaling a worrying trend towards broader conflict. Lebanon has emerged as a primary focal point of conflict, with ongoing exchanges of artillery fire between Hezbollah and the Israeli army since the start of military operations in Gaza. The situation has further escalated following the death of a Shiite militia leader in an Israeli airstrike. This incident has significantly intensified tensions, indicating a deepening conflict and raising concerns about the potential for further escalation in the region. In retaliation for an attack that resulted in the deaths of a dozen civilians, Hezbollah launched dozens of rockets at military installations and cities in northern Israel. This aggressive response has significantly raised the stakes, increasing the likelihood of an open war. The situation underscores the escalating cycle of violence and the growing concern over the potential for a broader conflict in the region. The emergence of a new conflict front, involving Israel and further complicated by the United States' unconditional support for the Netanyahu government, is amplifying pressure on Washington. This situation is manifesting as attacks on U.S. military bases and elevating the risk of the United States becoming entangled in a large-scale war. The dynamics of this support and the subsequent regional response highlight the intricate web of alliances and hostilities, posing significant challenges for U.S. foreign policy and its strategic interests in the Middle East. The Biden administration finds itself increasingly drawn into a regional conflict that diverges from its strategic interests, largely due to actions taken by Netanyahu's government. This involvement represents an unwelcome shift for the U.S. administration, highlighting the complexities of international alliances and the challenges of navigating foreign policy in a region fraught with tensions. The situation underscores the unintended consequences of political and military entanglements for the United States and the Middle East. Under the leadership of Netanyahu, the Israeli government has adopted an authoritarian, ultranationalist, and theocratic stance, posing a threat to regional security. This shift in governance has negatively impacted the United States' global standing, compelling it to defend and support Israel across various positions in the Middle East. The evolving political landscape in Israel has thus influenced U.S. foreign policy, highlighting the complex dynamics between domestic policies, international relations, and regional stability. Tensions in the Middle East could escalate further if Israel proceeds with its planned military offensive in Rafah, located in the southern Gaza Strip. Such action is expected to elicit a strong response from pro-Iranian militias, potentially leading to increased hostilities. The situation is already precarious, and the outcome of the upcoming November elections for the new occupant of the White House could further influence the region's stability. The future presents a grim outlook, with the potential for worsening conditions depending on the shift in U.S. leadership and its subsequent foreign policy decisions. Unconditional support for Israel unites both Democrats and Republicans in the United States, yet a potential victory for Donald Trump in the upcoming elections could result in a more hardened stance towards Iran. This scenario suggests that the U.S. foreign policy approach towards Iran and its broader Middle East strategy could become more aggressive under Trump's leadership, reflecting his previous administration's tough posture on Iranian affairs. During his presidency, Donald Trump adopted an especially aggressive approach towards Tehran, exemplified by his order to assassinate General Soleimani, the commander of the elite forces of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. Given this precedent, should Trump return to office, it is plausible, though not guaranteed, that U.S.-Iran relations could face even greater complications. This scenario suggests a potential intensification of hostilities or strategic challenges between the two nations, reflecting the heightened tensions that characterized Trump's previous term. The Trump administration's policy of heightened hostility towards Iran is partially credited with prompting advancements in Iran's missile program and enabling Iran to strengthen its strategic position in the Middle East. 
Critics argue that this outcome was a result of the administration's failure to negotiate effectively, leading to increased tensions and allowing Iran to advance its military and regional ambitions. This situation illustrates the complex interplay between U.S. foreign policy and regional security dynamics, highlighting the consequences of diplomatic strategies on geopolitical developments. Irrespective of the upcoming electoral outcomes in the United States, an escalation of military activities in the Middle East appears inevitable. With no ceasefire on the horizon in Gaza, tensions between Israel and Tehran's regional allies are escalating, thereby increasing the likelihood of an open war. This situation poses the risk of drawing additional actors into a large-scale conflict, the consequences of which are unpredictable. The current trajectory suggests a worrying trend towards broader regional instability and the potential for a significant escalation in hostilities. We hope you found this video useful. If you have anything to add, please share it with us in the comments section. Like this video and send the link to your family and best friends so that they also know more about USA and Iran and conflict. USA and Iran and conflict. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on all our social networks which are going to.